Is on. Tammy Smith and Maibam leave the start box. The best we've seen so far. Third after dressage on 24.2. The world number eight ranked rider, Tammy. And part of that silver medal winning team at Protoni last year with Lexus, as he's known. And I think uh, Tammy will definitely be minding that pen on when she gets up to the coffin because I know that caught her out with this horse a um, few Kentuckys ago and, and she is in it to win it this weekend. Tammy didn't come here last year. She was sort of, you know, the uh, one we missed here last year, but uh, instead went to badminton and she finished top 10 there. And that really set her up then. She ended up eventual top 10 as an individual, but so very close. Had the show jumping just gone their way a little bit more to being an individual medalist as well as team medalist at Protoni last summer. Yeah, and this horse just keeps getting better and better every year he comes out. He just jumped like he was on springs over that. Well, he is on springs. Have you seen this thing jump? <laughs> and you see her. This is a little more of an experienced pair. She yeah. knows this horse. She stays on the inside line. Keeps him quite direct to that table. Holds him into the line. That was really well done. Well, it's classic just being called forward to the start box. Now the British rider who will be our next out on course. And here's Tammy. Now she really looks yeah, like she's looks moving. Like she's she comes going. to the chameau. <laughs> really wants to make sure she gets them out in front of her leg. And as we get on through the day, especially with the rain coming in, is they're having to go for an incredibly accurate spot of this step up over here on the bank. And they're, they're all going to bring water up onto right. that spot. Actually, she's not on the spot. She's a little bit further right. Well, she was thinking, can you just get around wasting your time and having a little school out there? 11 minutes 20 is the time for Sandra Alfart. So she is tearing inside the time. She stays on her dressage score of 30.9. She was ninth after dressage. How high will that end up carrying her? See Tammy coming back up the hill, having just a little tap on the shoulder, saying, come on, boy, we got a little more work to do. you got to keep moving. The Normandy Bank up at the top of this uh, rise here, perhaps a little simpler than it has been in, in previous years. The step up onto the bank and then these two brushes, but actually the second brush is separately numbered, so you don't have to commit to quite a tight thread the needle yeah. if you you know if you want to try and edge a second on 22.6 penalties. Over at the Corgi, Tammy Smith and my bank. And after this, when they turn back to that water course to jump the roll top, she needs to be at 10 minutes. Tammy had to really work She's to at get 9 minutes 25 there. now, we're told. You know, Alexis just looking a little more tired and, and not quite as cued into what he was doing there. She had to wake him up and kind of pick him up over the fence. Now, she's, now she looks like she's got his attention back again. So her 10 minutes, as we reckon it, coming just on the landing side of that. So she is there or thereabouts, but she can't afford to uh, waste any time on the way home. She probably only has two or three seconds in hand at that minute marker by our reckoning. Yeah, and she's going to be working for every step. You know, that's where it's so important as a rider to know all your roping and be as ahead as you possibly can really on. Number 26 is next for them. Tammy. 10 minutes 40, we're told, as we're just trying to keep an eye on this U.S. medalist all the way home. All right, we see you're working for it. Trying not to waste any extra seconds to these last trickaners. Just 20 or so seconds left for Tammy Smith and Maibam. She would still be our leader even with a couple of time penalties, but of course, we've still to see the two Brits. We've got to see Tom McEwen and Yasmin Egan. Eleven minutes twenty. Oh, wow.